This is Ravi Kiran. Uh, we discussed last video uh, regarding uh, upstream server and uh, configured workstations and server to the AWS console. So synchronization is completed and uh, security and critical updates are need to approve. So we have two uh, computers added to AWS console and updates needed by computers 128. So that should be approved. And uh, now I'm going to show you on this video is uh, we have uh, another uh, downstream server in different location. So this is a 2022 operating system and in this uh, uh, configure WC services. So now I'm going to configure uh, downstream server. Okay, let's go to update service uh, synchronized from the another windows update services so you know uh, our server name okay wc server dot my domain dot in is our server okay <coughs> click this one so replica of upstream server so it will get updates click OK click on synchronization this is old one let's uh, try now now it is running and uh, let's go to main page ok synchronization is started it's a uh, 0% and we can go to uh, the upstream server and we can see here synchronizations the last synchronization is successful so it shows and go to the downstream server so it's checking the uh, synchronization between upstream server you can click here and uh, click downstream server so we have added one downstream server so it is clearly it's showing here upstream server is WS server and downstream is ws03.mydomain.in mode is unknown still it is uh, installing a uh, like synchronization is running so it will take some time is completed succeeded and you can click here so downstream servers are not available this is the downstream server you can check on upstream server you can find the downstream server so last synchronization is success succeeded and all the uh, information is uh, available on this server and if you go upstream um, you cannot uh, modify anything so this is the replica of the existing server so it is uh, see this is the uh, options are disabled because this is a server is a replica server and uh, language everything will be same no changes and uh, you can uh, verify the update approvals also it is disabled from the upstream server and uh, computers uh, this is a default so this is the things so another one thing if you want to get a notification if you have an email server in your organization you can click here and uh, you can configure the emails or daily report and you can configure the SMTP server and information you can everything can be configured and that email can be forward to your uh, uh, ID uh, based on regular reports this can be configured on the uh, server and that's all from my side uh, this is a downstream server so you can have uh, workstations like okay we have a four workstation these uh, machines which is connected to the WCS uh, downstream server once it is uh, verify the latest patches uh, once it is uploaded from the upstream server, these servers and workstations can be patched. 
automatically and uh, updates will be pushed and uh, after installation the workstations and servers will be rebooted thanks for watching my video uh, please uh, do not miss uh, clicking a subscribe icon and click on the bell icon to get a more uh, videos alerts uh, if I'm creating new so you will get alerted thanks for watching once again